there everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is crystal for those of you who are new here and on this channel i talk about all things fashion and lifestyle if you're not new then welcome back girl so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys a huge zara haul like let me just show you the boxes yeah we got we got to get through some stuff here it's going to be a huge zara haul y'all like i just picked up some cute pieces unique pieces because now when i shop i'm trying to look for like unique pieces like i'm not going for the basics anymore because i have several basics so I realized in my wardrobe that I'm missing like those unique pieces, those standout pieces, those trendy items that I just love and that will just bring, you know, a little bit of fun, a little bit of happiness and joy to a look. So yeah, in today's video, that's just what I'm going to be bringing to you guys. Some cute, fun pieces that you can just add to an existing wardrobe and yeah, just make it fun. So yeah, so if you're interested in seeing what I just picked up from Zara, then yeah, just keep watching. All right, so we're gonna get the shoes out of the way because I did get two pair of shoes. So the first pair I got are these, and they're just some loafers. I love loafers. Um, I just can't stop buying them. And I saw these on the website and just had to get them. I'm loving metallic right now, and I love like this croc effect that these loafers have, and they're just a cute shoe. And I got these in a size. I'm like a typical. I'm typically a nine and a half to ten, depending on the shoe. Um, this I got it in a size 40, which is a US nine. So for some reason, the Zara loafers kind of run small, in my opinion. So I sized down, and they fit me just perfectly. So um, I love these. Like I said, they're just a statement piece. You know that wow factor. Like I can wear it with a you know a basic outfit, and this will be you know my little pop and my little statement. So definitely love these loafers. So glad I got them, and so glad they fit too. Like these are just a unique piece again, which is what I'm kind of gravitating towards. Like those unique pieces, something that I can just add a little razzle dazzle to my outfits. And yeah, I love these loafers. So yeah, definitely love these. And I pay forty nine ninety for these. And then the next pair of shoes I got are these, and they're just like some little like suede suede -ish kind of i don't think this is real suede although it may be um because these were kind of expensive but you have like some suede booties and they have like this small little heel here like a little block heel or not even a block heel i don't even know what kind of heel you call this it's kind of like comes in like at the tip at the end here i don't know you see a girl uh, um but these are really cute i saw these on the side and they definitely reminded me of um a pair of isabel morant booties that i've been eyeing out and so i thought well if i can get them you know get the look for less on zara then that's what i'm gonna do so i got these in a size 41 so a us 10 typically boots are since the size up like like i said i'm in between sizes so i can either go up or down depending on the shoes so when boots and especially like these pointy toe boots i like to size up just because it's just more comfortable on my foot and so i paid 99.90 for these boots so I'm assuming this is real suede or, you know, like real leather because, yeah, $100 for some boots is kind of a little bit pricey for Zara, but um, I love these. And like I said, they definitely reminded me of the Isabel Morant ones that I've been eyeing out. And so I thought I would get, give these a try. And so they are really nice quality, really nice, kind of like in this uh, tannish kind of, I don't know, tannish color, I guess, um, kind of tannish topish, topish kind of color. So, um, but definitely love these and so glad I found these on the Zara website and yeah, definitely love these boots. All right, now we're gonna get into what I'm wearing now. Um, so the first clothing item, so all the rest of these items are gonna be clothing items. So this piece is just a little vest and um, I love this. Like I said, I've been looking for like some standout pieces or like some unique pieces and you hardly, I don't think I've ever, ever seen since I've been, you know, a follower of fashion and lover of fashion. I don't think I've ever seen a denim uh, vest. I don't know. Maybe you guys have. I have a mirror here, so I'm just kind of looking. But yeah, I love this little vest, and I just thought it would be a cute addition to my wardrobe. Like it will look cute with, you know, like like what I have on now. I have like an all black outfit on, and so I just popped on this denim blade or denim vest, and just absolutely love it. It has like the little um, part here in the back, and I think I got this in an extra large, and I think it was 59.90. I have it on, so I can't really see the tag, but pretty sure it was 59.90 but anyway I have everything that I show you guys I will link down below just in case I forget to tell you guys like the pricing um, I will try to tell you the sizing so that way it'll be more helpful but as far as the price if I forget to tell you the price because I'm gonna be trying these things on and talking about them as I try them on so just I think that'll be more helpful um, so anyway so I'm typically like a medium large um, in tops so I don't know why I sized up 
I don't know, maybe the web, you know, sometimes on the website it tells you that something runs small. Maybe on the side, I can't remember if it told me this runs small. So maybe that's why I got an extra large or maybe it was the last size. I don't know, but I sized up because I really want it to kind of be a little oversized, but it definitely just fits. And this is an extra large, like I can button it up and I don't have, it's not like I have a big chest. So I don't know why this kind of, in my opinion, kind of runs small to me. Um, but I, like I said, I can button it up, but it'll definitely give me like that corset kind of vibe. So if you're into like corsets, I guess, you know, it'll work for you. But I wanted it to be kind of oversized. So I don't know. I like it, but I just feel like it's, it's not giving what I wanted it to give. I wanted it to give oversized and it's definitely giving me corset vibes. So we'll see. <laughs> I don't know if I may take it back or I may see if they have any bigger sizes. I'm thinking extra large was probably the biggest size that they had, but I like it. Um, you guys let me know what you think about it. Uh, but it's definitely a cute little statement piece, like I said, that I can, you know, just pop on, you know, a simple, you know, basic outfit and yeah, it just kind of elevates it. So, um, but yeah, so I love this little vest. All right. And the next item is this cropped blazer and I love it. Um, I love it and hate it. <laughs> it's a love-hate relationship with this blazer, okay? Um, so I love the fact that it's cropped, which is the reason why I got it, because like I said, I'm loving, you know, unique pieces that I can, you know, style it with some of my basics. And so I'm into, like, the cropped blazers. Uh, um, with this one, it's like in this tweed kind of fabric. So I absolutely love it. It's definitely giving me, like, Chanel vibes. It is, um, I mean, the length of it as far as in the arms, it is a little short than I, you know, than I would like. Um, but I think it's just, I guess, the right length to show off, like, you know, my bracelets and whatnot. So that's fine. And it has, like, these shoulder pads, which I think is the reason why it's a little bit short on me. I have an issue when it comes to some of the Zara blazers, especially, like, the tweed ones. Is They put the shoulder pads in them, and they just, they don't fit me the way that I, you know, want. Like, they fit, but they're not perfect, you know. Um, but um, the, that's the only gripe I have about it. Uh, well, no, it's not. So the buttons here are just like so like just ready to pop off at any given moment. Like, I don't know if you can see that, but there's like so much thread here. And I just feel like this needs to be, you know, um, it's, this needs to be fixed. Yeah, it's just the thread is just definitely too loose on here. And I mean, the buttons are really nice. I don't know if you can see that, but the buttons kind of look, they kind of look a little bit like some clip on, like some clip in earring, clip on earrings or something. Um, but they're just really cute though, but they're just two little buttons. But as you can see, they are very like flimsily, if that's even a word, they're flimsy and they're not sewn on there the best. So I guess I can easily fix that myself. But you know, when you buy something, you don't want to have to alter it or, you know, make your own adjustments to it. I know people, a lot of people do that, but I don't like to. I like for my things to come to me and they either fit me the way that I want them to fit or, you know, the buttons are on there secure enough where I'm not having to, you know, re-secure them or whatever. Um, but those are the only two complaints. It's just a little bit short, but nothing too bad. And then, the, like I said, the buttons are just, yeah, these buttons are not sewn on here the best. So, um, but otherwise, it's just a pretty good quality tweed blazer. I love tweed, you know, for the fall and winter time. So, if you can just kind of get over the fact that the buttons are a little flimsy, I don't know, maybe it's just this one. You might get one, you know, purchase one and the buttons may be fine. So, I don't know, I'm still thinking about it because this blazer was $69.90, I believe. So, you know, Zara blazers are expensive. Their outerwear in general is expensive. So, I don't know. And then I got this in an extra large, just for reference. Like I said, I am like a small, like a medium large. So, um, it kind of size up. So, it fits me just fine. Like, it's nothing too, as far as like here on my, you know, on the chest area because that's typically where most women have issues with their stuff fitting is going to be in the chest area so um but I I my issues I have is going to be in the arms because I have long arms so um but I don't know I'm on the fence about it I can't decide if I want to keep it or not I do love like the overall overall style of it but just some little minor tweaks I'm gonna have to make as far as with the buttons but it's nothing too too bad you know just me being picky but you guys let me know what you think about this blazer and should i just keep it because i love the print on it it's like in this plaid or checkered print so i just really love the print of it so i don't know i'm still on the fence about it but you guys let me know what you think about it so but yeah so this is the blazer all right and the next item is this blazer this gray kind of slate gray blazer and this definitely fits the way that i want it to i wish that tweed blazer would have fit like this one 
Um, but yeah, so it's just a gray, just a basic blazer. I saw this on the site and just thought it was really nice. Um, and it looked, actually the color looked different on the website. I don't know. It looked kind of taupish on the website. So this is definitely like a slate gray. Um, yeah, but I love it. It definitely fits me fine. Um, the arm length is pretty much like the one, the tweed blazer. I think what makes that tweed blazer uncomfortable or just weird fitting is the shoulder pads. Like, the shoulder pads are too thick in the in the in the tweed blazers that Zara have. These these have shoulder pads. Like this blazer has shoulder pads in it. So, but they're not really thick. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel them there, but they're not uncomfortable like the ones that Zara have with their tweed blazers. I don't know what that is. The tweed blazers have super thick shoulder padding, and I think that's what makes it like kind of weird. I like awkward fitting. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But just a heads up, just because I've gotten several tweed blazers. Uh, from Zara in the, over the past couple of months and they all have a thick padding in the shoulder so but this one's just perfect it's not uncomfortable or anything like definitely is like that oversized fit um, I did get this in an extra large again it was $69.90 so um, definitely like that oversized you know feel if you don't want it to be oversized then you know definitely get your true size so like I said I'm a medium large so I went up a size so um, but I definitely love it I love the fit of it I love like how it looks the only thing is I'm trying to bait <laughs> I'm debating if I'm going to keep this because I have a few gray blazers in my wardrobe already. Um, actually, I have one, actually. I don't know why I say the few. I have one. It's not like this, though. It's it's actually a thrifted blazer that I got several years ago. And I love it, and I won't ever get rid of it. So I'm trying to decide if I want to keep this one or not. It's, this is definitely different. It's a different, it's a different type of gray or color or shade gray than the other one that I have. So I don't know, it may be justified to keep this one, but I really love this one. It's definitely that kind of men's, you know, men's style kind of look. So, um, but yeah, I love this blazer. It's just like the single breasted and I can, you know, button it up and, you know, have plenty of room and I can belt it, um, and, you know, be fine. So yeah, love this blazer. Definitely highly recommend it. It's really good quality. You know, so you definitely can't go wrong with a good quality blazer from Zara. So, um, but yeah, so this is this blazer. You guys let me know what you think about it. And yeah, we'll get into the next item. All right, so the next item I'm going to share with you guys are some bottoms. Um, so you probably won't be able to see it from this frame, but I will obviously pop, you know, pop up a, you know, um, cutaway or some sort of video so you guys can see these um, trousers or these cargo pants, I should say. So if you've been following me, then you know that I've been obsessed with cargo pants, anything cargo, cargo skirts, cargo pants, cargo trousers. I've just wanted to, you know, incorporate more of that into my wardrobe because I found that I didn't have any of that. So, um, and I love them. They just definitely kind of give that street style kind of vibe. And so, yeah, so I purchased these from Zara. I got them in a size 10 and they were $69.90. So, um, they are like in this, I don't know, like a grayish kind of color, kind of similar to that gray blazer that I showed you guys. Um, but I love them. They have like the cargo style or the cargo pockets or the pockets obviously on the side, like more, most cargo pants do. And these have this like long string on the side. I don't know what that's all about or what that's for. <laughs> But it's a very long string, so I don't know. Yeah, maybe that's just for like looks, I guess. Um, but these I got in a size 10, and I'm typically like a 10. Um, yeah, I'm a 10. Um, sometimes 12. It just depends on the jeans or the bottoms. But these, um, they fit fine as far as the length. I'm like 5, you know, 8 for reference. Um, so they do go down to my ankles, and they have like an elasticated part at the um, bottom of them so that you can kind of adjust it and make it tighter if you need to and also here in the um, Here at the waist they have like a little adjustable um, Part here that you can make this as loose or as tight as you need to um, For me they kind of fit a little tight here in the hips Which is normal because I have huge hips and a huge butt so it's hard for me really to get anything as far as on the bottom that fits me you know perfectly because of my hips and my butt but um, other than that, it fits fine. Um, I'm debating about whether or not I want to size up because the thing with cargo pants is you want them to fit oversized. At least I do. I don't want them to fit. And these just fit, you know. And like I said, they're a little bit tight here in my hips. So I don't particularly like that because I definitely want them to fit like a cargo style pant. Um, so I don't know. I'm thinking I might put take these back. I don't know. 
Um, you guys let me know what you think. Like, it's not an uncomfortable tight, but it is a little bit, you know, more snug compared to every uh, every place else. Every place else is really nice and oversized and baggy, except for my hips and my around my butt. So, I don't know. I'm on the fence about whether or not I want to send this back um, because I feel like, I mean, I guess looking at it here, it's not that bad because, like I said, it's definitely oversized at the, you know, the bottom. It's just here. It's just a little snug. So, I don't know. I'm going to think about it and see what I want to do or maybe go on the side and see if I can size up. Um, but, yeah, so these are the cargo pants. You guys let me know what you think about them. If you guys are into cargo pants, like, let me know. Are you guys still in the cargo pants? like I am or you think it's just you know something that's just you know for the young people <laughs> you know so um but anyway so yeah these are the cargo pants you guys let me know what you think about this or these and yeah we'll get into the next piece all right the next item is a skirt and it is a maxi skirt and it's like a cargo style maxi skirt which I absolutely love um it has the pockets on the side and it has like a little slit in the back of it which I love and it also has like this adjustable waist so that you can, you know, again, just like the um, cargo pants, you can adjust this to, you know, fit you a little bit more looser if you need to or adjust it to tighten it up. So I uh, really love this skirt and um, I have <laughs> have several of these skirts at this point, I think. Um, or no, I have one and it has like a split in the middle, which I don't know, I prefer the split in the back. I don't know. And this, it's not too high, you know, it's not too high up. It's just like the perfect um like length as far as going up so definitely love this it looks good with this little vest that i have on which i decided just to keep the vest on to style up the rest of the bottom pieces so um but yeah so just a cute like denim on denim look and just absolutely love this this skirt and definitely going to be keeping it and yeah it's just so cute and just something so basic but you know it's just a little statement piece again um to just kind of you know refresh your wardrobe and just you know, add a little fun to the look, your look. So, really love this. And like I said, I'm 5'8", so if you're shorter than that, it's probably going to be very maxi on you. And I style this up with those booties, um, those like Isabel Marant dupe booties that um, I showed you guys earlier. So, just kind of take that into consideration when you're thinking about buying this piece because I am tall and it still is, even with the boots on, and the boots don't have a high heel as you saw, um, but it's still maxi on me considering I'm 5'8 and have on boots. So just, you know, reference, just kind of a reference there. Um, if you guys remember to my little shorty queens <laughs> who, you know, have an issue with a lot of the Zara pieces. As I hear that, you know, ladies like the petite ladies have issues with the sizing as far as the length when it comes to Zara pieces. Cause they obviously, I guess they make their pieces for tall people, you know, so, um, but yeah, just so you know. This, you know, is very maxi. It's going to be very maxi on you. Probably going to drag the ground if you're short. So, um, but I love it. I'm going to definitely keep it. I got this, um, I think I got it in extra large and I think it was $49.90, I think. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, definitely love it. Definitely going to keep this for sure. And yeah, definitely going to be styling this up probably like this and wearing it just like this. So, all right. So that is the denim skirt. Now we're going to get into the next item. All right. And the next item is another skirt. And I'm just going to go ahead and tell you this. This is definitely going back because it definitely does not fit the way that I thought it would. Um, and I think I, I think the only reason why I got this is because I saw, I, you know, have been seeing other Zara hauls and people have been buying this skirt. So and raving about this skirt, but it did not work for me. It's just one of those situations or one of those times where, you know, something doesn't work for you, even though it works for everybody else. Um, but yeah, like my body type, yeah, this doesn't fit. It's not perfect for my body type. Um, but it's just this, um, like max, again, a maxi skirt. I just, I obviously love maxi skirts and it's kind of has like this kind of asymmetric, um, waist here, as you can see where it's kind of like where the, it's kind of like, kind of like that exposed, like when you fold over some pants and that kind of like the end part of it is exposed is, um, what, basically what this is. And it's just on one side. And that's really why I got this because I liked, you know, like I said, I've been gravitating towards like different unique pieces that I can, you know, add to my wardrobe. And so I thought this was unique and, but it's just too, it's too tight. I got it in a size large and I think I saw from the tag that the, the biggest size that they sell this in is a 2XL. So, um, I may see if I can find a bigger size, like I'll have to size up substantially because like I said, I got this in a large and it's definitely too tight on my hips and again, my butt, like, you know, 
big big hips big butt girl problem right <laughs> um but yeah it just it just doesn't fit right like it just does not look right at all like even here you know at the waist it doesn't look right like it doesn't look it's not giving what i thought it would give for me and my body type so i'm definitely gonna you know take this back and may go back on the site and see if i can find it in a bigger size if not then you know it is what it is you know um but um i like it you know even though it doesn't fit me i still would recommend it if you can get your you know size and it fits you right so um because it is a nice skirt and it's stretchy too it has like some elastic in it so it's not anything too you know it's like it has some give but not enough give for these hips girls so um but it does have some like i said some stretch to it so it's nothing too bad but yeah it's just it's just too small for me and didn't work out so definitely gonna send this back so yeah this didn't work out this definitely is going back for sure so um but yeah like i said i like it anyway so yeah all right so we'll get to the next piece all right here's the next item so it is a dress and it's a faux leather dress and um, i love it in theory but on me as far as the fit again big hips big butt problem um it definitely just i don't know it's just i'm just not feeling it <laughs> on me um it looked cute on the website but on me because of these hips and these thighs and these butt this butt girl like it definitely yeah, it's too tight like it's just like too tight and like showing every curve and roll and yeah i just don't like that so um and you know usually i would say oh i'm gonna keep it you know for when i lose weight but yeah i'm trying to i'm trying to you know buy clothes to fit the body that i have now not the body that i want to get so and this you know would just be sitting in my closet and plus like i feel like i wouldn't have you know many places to wear this like this would be and I, you know, a dress that I would basically just wear, you know, date night with my husband. Like, I don't think I would be comfortable wearing this just church, you know, I just don't. So in theory, I love it. And in theory, it would be a nice dress to keep in my wardrobe, but I just know it's not something that, you know, it's not something versatile that I would get lots of wear out of. Just, just to be honest, you know, I'm just being honest with myself too, because I'm really trying to buckle down and just really just get things that I can just wear over and over and over again and get my wear out of it and not just sit it back in the closet and not wear it. And so this, I already know, just because I don't like the way it looks on me, I definitely won't be, you know, reaching for this that much. Um, and even, like I said, even if I would, you know, lose weight, lose about, you know, five or 10 pounds, I still don't feel like I will reach for this. You know what I mean? Like I'll reach for something else over this, I feel like. Um, cause it's definitely not like an everyday running errands type of a dress for me at least. Um, it's just, yeah, it just, realistically, I wouldn't wear this, you know, um, other than, you know, like I said, date night with my spouse or something, you know? So yeah, this is going back. I hate to say it, you know, cause I do, like I said, in theory, love it, but yeah, it just doesn't fit me the way that I want it to. And I'm trying to see what size I got this in. So I got it in an extra large, so I don't know if it comes in any bigger sizes or not um yeah comes in a 2xl so or that's the highest i guess size so i don't know it's hard to find those sizes on the zora website so um and then just for reference it does zip up in the back so and the zip is hard to get up like i struggled i was able to get this you know zip it up on my own so i feel like you know if you are someone who lives alone and you know you have to zip something up in the back you can do it but it I, it definitely gave me some trouble i don't know maybe it's just because it's just too small for me um but yeah this is definitely going back i hate to say it because i got excited when i saw it on the site and i wanted i just wanted it to work but it didn't work so it's going back so um but it is a nice dress otherwise if you can get your size and you know it is a nice dress um i don't know maybe you if you work in a corporate office or something maybe you can wear something like this i don't know um but it doesn't it definitely has like a slit going on the side of it that's kind of high so i don't know if that would be appropriate to wear to a corporate like an all leather look with a split is you know it's a little risque for maybe for a corporate office but like i said in theory i loved it wanted it to work but yeah this is unfortunately gonna have to go back so all right so we'll get into the last piece all right and this is the last piece and this is probably my favorite piece i say the very you know best for last um and it's just this maxi skirt or maxi dress i should say and it's kind of like in this i don't know what fabric this is but it's like a um it's like that sheer fabric kind of like a sheer fabric but it does have a lining underneath it so 
Um, on the side, I thought it was going to be denim, but this is definitely not denim. It just kind of has that denim look um, or like that patchwork denim look, which I absolutely love. Like this is definitely a unique standout piece. And the arms are very, you know, they're sheer, so there's no lining on the arms, but the lining is in, you know, the, you know, this part of the dress. The rest of the dress has lining. It's just the arms that doesn't have a lining. So it's sheer, um, that mesh kind of material. Um, but the lining is very super thick, so you know, it's not see-through at all. You won't be showing your goodies. Um, and I, yeah, I absolutely love this dress. So I'm definitely going to keep this. It definitely fits me the way that I want it to fit. It definitely, you know, hugs my curves and does not, you know, make anything look too, you know, uncomfortable or doesn't make me look, you know, like I'm bigger than I am. And it definitely hides my curves. And I just absolutely love this dress. Like, it's just... A very unique standout piece this looks like something that I would get from like one of those overpriced boutiques you, you know one of those like independent businesses that sell like stuff like this that's that would probably run one you know $150 speaking of price let's see I paid $59.90 for this so I know sometimes I feel like Zara is an overpriced boutique sometimes uh, uh, but I got this in an extra large so definitely got it in the perfect size for me I feel like if I would have went down a size it probably would have just been more body hugging this has a lot of room in it um at least the mesh part does the lining is definitely kind of body hugging but like i said you can barely see the lining um because it's just so dark um but i absolutely love this it has like some little split detail here on the sleeves here on both the sleeves don't know if you can see that but just a nice it's, it's a dress that i feel like i can wear different you know several different ways like i can wear this you know, um, date night, or I can wear it, you know, casually, just, you know, roaming about, running errands, um, because it's, you know, it kind of looks like that denim look, which is, you know, denim can be dressed up or dressed down, so this is what I mean when I say, like, I want a piece that is versatile, that I can wear multiple different ways, and, you know, no multiple different occasions, so this is definitely that kind of dress, so I'm definitely going to keep this, this is probably my favorite piece out of everything that I've showed you guys, other than the vest the denim the denim vest and this dress are probably two of my favorite pieces um but i absolutely love it you guys let me know what you think about it definitely fits me perfectly especially in the arms and the length is perfect length just a perfect dress for me and i love it so uh, but you guys let me know what you think about this piece and actually all the pieces like let me know which items you think i should take back i'm just going to go ahead and tell you i'm definitely taking back that gray skirt um, I'm thinking I'm going to take back the cargo pants because like I said, if it doesn't fit me the way that I want it to, there's no need for me to keep it in. So I'm going to take back the cargo pants and I think I'm going to take back the two blazers. Yeah, because I really don't need any more blazers and that blazer is not, it's a basic and I feel like, I feel like I just won't gravitate towards that blazer at all. Like I will reach for other blazers before I reach for that one. So yeah, the two blazers, the cargo pants, and, the, and that uh, gray skirt, like that gray skirt with like the asymmetric um, waist. I think I'm gonna take those four items back and I think I'm gonna, oh, and the, the dress. I got a lot of items in this haul that I'm taking back. So yeah, just because, yeah, they don't fit me the way that I want them to fit. And I'm the type of person that if something doesn't fit you, I feel like if something doesn't fit you the way that you want it to fit right when you put it on, you don't need to get it. Like don't make it work, girl. Just, just, you know wave the white flag and just give up and just get rid of it like you just will just yeah i don't need to waste some coins out here and we don't have to so um but yeah so that's everything i hope you guys enjoyed the video um like i said let me know down in the comments which item was your favorite which item you think i should take back yeah because i loved all the pieces in general just don't get me wrong i'm not saying i don't like any of the pieces obviously i like them because i purchased them but they just didn't work for me so maybe they work for you so you just never know so um but that's it um thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like this video if you like this video and also subscribe if you are not subscribed girl because we do lots of fashion and lifestyle videos but mostly fashion um but yeah it's a good time over here so just be sure to subscribe, guys. So, all right. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right. Bye, guys.